coronavirus. Do you have it? And should you be worried about it? In this video, I'm going to be answering a bunch of questions about coronavirus, including what it is, where it came from, and how we can deal with it. So by the end of this video, you'll know everything you need to know about the current coronavirus outbreak. Hey there guys, I'm Jesse Crow, the traveling scientist. And after studying years of pharmacology, microbiology, and immunology, I'm here to help you live smarter, happier, and healthier lives. Today I'm going to be talking about the current coronavirus outbreak, COVID-19. To date, there's been just under 100,000 confirmed cases around the world, and 80,000 of those confirmed cases were within China, and of those 80,000 cases, about 3,500 people have died from that coronavirus infection. And outside of China, there's been about 17,500 confirmed cases of coronavirus. And of those 17,500 cases, just over 300 people have died. Giving this strain of coronavirus a mortality rate of between 2 and 3%. And note that most of the people that are dying from this coronavirus are very old or have other pre-existing medical conditions. Coronavirus is actually a really common disease. People get it all the time. It causes a sort of common cold. You've probably had coronavirus before and you'll probably have it again. This coronavirus strain is more serious because it's mutated and viruses are mutating all the time, trying to change their DNA and their structure slightly so they can reinfect new hosts and reproduce. But this coronavirus strain has mutated in such a way that it spreads between people quite easily and it also causes some pretty serious symptoms that can lead to death. That's why people are freaking out about it. COVID-19 was first discovered in Wuhan, China on the 31st of December in 2019 and it's believed to have come from a specific animal which is known as a pangolin. Now, I'd never heard of this animal before. It's a sort of cross between an armadillo and an anteater. This scaly little interesting creature, which means no harm to people, but it's the most trafficked animal in the world. People harvest and poach these animals for their meat or for their scales, which are believed to have healing properties, which is probably a load of junk. But that's why this animal is trafficked so much and Somewhere in that trafficking, one particular pangolin must have got infected with a coronavirus that mutated inside of it and then spread to humans and now it's causing this massive outbreak. So that's a little bit of revenge from the highly trafficked pangolin. Coronavirus replicates in your lungs, which promotes inflammation, which can lead to a buildup of fluid in your lungs which can cause septic shock and a drop in blood pressure and ultimately oxygen starvation and organ failure and that can cause you to die. But remember that this only happens in really old people and like really heavy smokers. It doesn't happen to everybody, so chill out. Most people that get the coronavirus get over it naturally, they just need rest. If you have a really serious infection, you can get fluid support and oxygen support in a hospital, but generally the immune system take care of, takes care of the infection and you get over it with time. Coronavirus is spread quite easily. If someone who has coronavirus coughs or sneezes on you or touches something that you touch, you could get infected with that virus too. So the best thing to do to prevent yourself from getting infected and to stop the spread of coronavirus, don't go outside, don't talk to anyone, don't touch anything, don't eat food, don't do anything. I'm just kidding, live your normal life, but be smart about it. If someone seems sick, maybe avoid them. And if you're touching things that are out in public, like if you're using public transport or if you're dealing with the general public, just remember to wash your hands well. That's the best way to prevent infection of yourself and to prevent further spread of this disease. There's currently no vaccine for this coronavirus. They are working on one which should be ready in 12 to 18 months, but don't hold your breath.
If you're an 85 year old person living in China who smokes heavily, then maybe you should be worried about the coronavirus. But if you're a relatively healthy person living in a first world country, you don't need to stress about it. You probably won't get coronavirus. And even if you do, it's probably not gonna kill you. And even if it does, that sucks. And look, I feel for you. But honestly, this is just another disease that the media is hyping up like they did with swine flu and like they did with Ebola. It's just the latest craze. You shouldn't worry about it too much. Yes, you can still drink Coronas. They have nothing to do with the coronavirus. No, you can't have a pangolin as a pet, although that would be awesome because they're my new favorite animal. And no, you don't need to go out and stock up on toilet paper for the end of days. It's just ridiculous. This disease is not going to end humanity. And even if it was going to, why would you stock up on toilet paper? Buy food, you idiots. <laughs> anyway, that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, click the like button down below. And if you have any more questions about the coronavirus outbreak of 2020, let us know in the comments section down below. I'll make sure to answer all those questions. And finally, make sure you subscribe for more awesome traveling signs every single week. And I'll see you guys with another awesome video next Science Sunday. Cheers.